wasn't, uh, I thought it was a defensive battle. You know, it certainly wasn't a thing of beauty on either end offensively, but I, I think you need to credit uh, both teams on defense. And uh, I thought we played really good defense on them, and they certainly played really good defense on us. Uh, and we have to continue to get better uh, offensively in terms of our execution so we can score on an outstanding defensive team uh, like Wisconsin. Do you have a team that sort of generally does pretty well against zones? They pass so well and they get in the middle. What did you do today to kind of get them out of their comfort zone? No, I thought our guys played really hard and were tremendously active in the zone. Um, our zone has been a good defense for us. It's been disruptive. Uh, you know, I think we have pretty good quickness uh, as a team. Um, and I, you know, I thought we were able to, to make them uncomfortable offensively. And you know, they score a vast majority of their points in the paint and at the free throw line. And so we wanted to try to protect our paint, and we wanted to try to play them without fouling and make them shoot contested jump shots. And I thought overall, you know, we were able to do a pretty good job on that defensively. Um, again, I thought our offense let us down. And uh, like we're not a we're look, we're not a juggernaut offensively by any stretch. I mean, we have one guy on our team who has been an established college scorer, and Matt Carlino, um, and the rest of the guys are are trying to find their offensive identity. Uh, the thing we can't do, the thing that I thought hurt us the most on offense, uh, were, were poor decisions, uh, poor decisions that led to. Um, some really tough shots when we should have kicked or made one more pass uh, or turnovers and you know when you analyze the box score they scored a third of their points off of our turnovers and you know for a team that isn't uh, you know still learning who they are offensively you cannot turn the ball over. Coach you Marquette Wisconsin games are always emotional do you think your team maybe came out a little too excited and that maybe led to a couple of the turnovers and four shots? Yeah, you know, our guys want to do really well, and, you know, we can't fault them for that. And sometimes when you're motivated to do really well, you, you, you don't always have the poise you need to. And uh, the other thing is, look, we haven't played a team that's as good defensively as Wisconsin. I mean, they're huge. When you get in the paint and you have, you know, Kaminsky, Hayes, Decker, you know, on and on, those guys are big guys. And so we were, you know, we haven't, we haven't had to finish – at the, the rim or make decisions in the paint against the team with their size. What do you say about just the fight this team has, you know, just to, to keep coming, you know, and ending these type of games? Well, I think our guys, um, since we left for Orlando, have showed uh, a great deal of fight, and we want that to be who we are. We want to be fighters. We want to be guys who compete and have a great competitive spirit, and I think our guys have had that, and if we can couple that with uh, better decision making, um, you know, we we have we have a chance. Steve, um, Hayes and Kaminsky and Decker get a lot of the attention. What, what's your appreciation level for a guy like Gosser? We got a lot of little things, and today you know, hit some some really clutch three pointers. Yeah, I mean, if, you know, watch I've watched all their games this year. I mean, I think that I think Gosser's a winner, you know, and. and you know, winning players, it, sometimes it doesn't always show up statistically, uh, but coaches know. And uh, whether it's a loose ball, whether it's the timing of the made shot, um, you know, it's, it's, it's those plays that you know, help your team win. And, uh, you know, every coach can appreciate somebody like that. Steve, on your side, Sandy Cohen had a couple of big plays for you. What, what are you seeing from him, and what does a game like this maybe do for him? Well, I would hope it would build his confidence. I mean, I thought, you know, Sandy... As a freshman, I thought he got, you know, like most freshmen do, I thought he, he's been knocked back over the last couple of weeks. But I really believe in Sandy. I, mean, I, th I know Sandy's going to be a heck of a player for us. And to be able to make not only the shots, but he made some tough plays in a game like this should, should show him that, that he's capable of being a, a really good player at this level right now. And um, I, I've really enjoyed coaching Sandy, and I, and I believe he's going to be a really good player. Coach, dribble penetration today seemed to be, uh, you just don't.